Tracy from Lavinia Stamps and thank you for joining me today for another demonstration. We're going to be using our A5 gel press today, um, brushes and our Distress Oxide. So let's just pick a colour. We go with some blues. So we'll go with Shaded Lilac, the Distress Oxide. Just clean my brayer. that colour up and transfer that over onto the gel plate. Okay that's your base colour. Now we can start adding some of our brush outs. Okay so I'm going to go with the ochre to start with. This is yellow ochre. And then we're going with some Prussian Blue. I haven't tried this combination of colour before so it's all a little bit trial and error. And then we'll go with a Purple. And then we've got our Pink. I forget the name of the pink but it could be uh, written somewhere in the description of the video so okay so taking our multifarious card I'm going to pop that down over the top and give that a good smooth over and let's have a look what we've got Wow, got some lovely colours going on there. Let's dry that off. Gives you totally a different effect having the oxide underneath as, a, as opposed to colour box. Um, and they're both equally as nice. This, it just dries a little bit more chalky when you're using the Distress Oxides. And then take a look at the stamps we're going to be using. Okay, so let's just make a start anyway. I'm going to ink up in the Nocturne. This is uh, part of our Rory and Darcy set. This is the large one. Um, I think you can buy these individually and then the small ones are the set, sorry. Okay, I'm going to pop him down round about there. Give that a good press. And then we're going to ink up our dragon in the nocturne and pop him there. And then the other dragon we're going to ink up in Twilight. Okay, so I want want to ground him so I'm going to just tear some paper now. I want to create a little bit of a hill so just 
just line that up on the bottom of his feet there and then I'm going to use the twilight so ink the little smoothie up take that over the top and then I'm going to use a little bit of the Nocturne again just a little tiny amount just on the edge okay so now taking a little acetate I'm going to just pop that around the dragons now and then taking our smoothie I'm going to go around the edge this time using the twilight just work your way around And again with the Versafine going over the top of the oxide just gives you a slightly different effect. Definitely makes it more chalky. Not quite as uh, dense the colour so Okay, so if we want to lighten that area, then we just take some water and just put the water within the moon and it will start to pull that colour to the surface. And then we can just dab that out. and it just makes it a little bit lighter making it more three-dimensional so I'm going to heat that up, dry that off maybe we'll put a castle in the distance as well you know So I'm going to ink up, because I want it to be more in the distance, I'm going to ink up in the twilight. don't want it to be too dark. And I just want the top just to be peeping out. So it looks like it's over the hill. There we go. Just using the smoothie just to go over the edge now. Just to give it a little bit of atmosphere. Look like it's sort of sitting in the mist. Okay, I'm going to go carry on now around the edge of the card. Okay. 
so I think I'm going to put a little bit of foliage at the top here. We've got some words there as well. Let's have a look what we've we got. Maybe we'll use that one. Okay, it's quite nice and fine. So I don't want anything too bold because we don't want to take the focus away from the dragons. So let's go with the warm breeze. Dragon beasts soaring high, beating wings through the sky. Flames of fire blaze through the air. Red eyes watch you with a luring stare. These beasts of nature, feared by many, some would agree it is but envy. Wild but timid, their free spirits fly. Their sacred souls will never die. So I'm going to ink that up in the twilight and then going to put the glitter over the foliage to come down. So I'll do that first. It's really nice to have the glitter coming down the card, especially from a uh, foliage that's hanging. I think it just makes it look really pretty. And if you haven't got a glue pen, you can always use some liquid pearls. The only reason I use the glue pen is because I can get some really fine dots with it. Sometimes the glitter can be a little bit overpowering. So the finer the better. Okay, so... Let's pick our glitter. I'll go with the, the blue purple one. And let's sprinkle that over. Now probably cling to a few things which I don't mind because I think it looks nice when it sticks to everything. Because it just gives everything a dusting of shimmer, which I think is really effective. I hope you can see that. See the glitter. It's always hard to get you to see the um, the shimmer under the under the camera. Okay, guys. Well, thanks ever so much for joining me. I hope you enjoyed that demo, and um, we'll speak to you real soon. Bye for now.